Maybe that was a bad idea on my part. I can't tell if I'm liking where this is going. Oh, this is not good. Oh, goodness gracious. I haven't had a makeup moment like this in years. This is not a brown. This is like a red. Hi friends, I hope you're doing well. I just got back from a little Walmart run and I picked up some new makeup. I also restocked some of my old faves and I figured I'd sit down and just like do my makeup using some of these drugstore items. We're gonna do a full face of drugstore makeup and I was really inspired by fall, specifically like the more berry tones that are in for fall. So that's kind of what I am planning on doing with this look. So let's just jump right in. I'm gonna use a primer that is not brand new to me. This is the NYX Plump Right Back Primer. I just feel like my skin needs a little something to prep. And this one is so good. I'm just gonna apply this all over. I walked by the Neutrogena section at Walmart and I had to stop because I was reminded of one of my old favorite foundations that I believe I decluttered a while ago because they were just expired. And then I was like, you know what? I really need to revisit these. The Neutrogena Healthy Skin Liquid Makeup. This was one of my favorite foundations back in the day. It's been a while since I've used it and there's been so many other brands that have launched you know, foundations since I used this, but I really wanted to revisit it. I ended up picking up two shades 20 and 40 because 40 I like the undertone of, but it's a little deep for me, especially right now. So we're gonna use this foundation. I really do wish I had a pump of some sort because this packaging, I just feel like I overuse the foundation. Does anyone know if there are pumps that they sell, not even Neutrogena, but just like on Amazon that fits this foundation specifically? If so, please let me know. See, this is just ridiculous how much product comes out. Oh my gosh, okay. Let's see what we can do here. I just feel like if I could buy a pump, it would be so much better. Mm, I still feel like I need a little more of the light shade, but I don't wanna pour more foundation on my hand, so I'm just gonna make this work. I'm gonna pick this up on the back of my hand. You know, it's been a while since I've used this foundation. Like the last time I really enjoyed this, or when I was using it consistently anyway, was when I had pretty acne prone skin. So I feel like I layered it up quite a bit. Where now I prefer a little bit more of like a sheer initial application of foundation. So I'm interested to see like if that changes how I feel about it, if it looks better than it did before or the same. Yeah, this shade is definitely too dark for me. <laughs> Luckily I have kind of like a high neck jacket and things. I'm gonna try to buff this out as best as I can. I should have started with the lighter shade and then dumped in the deeper one, but you live and you learn. Try not to waste too much product either. All right, I'm just taking a sponge to press that into the skin. Aside from the shade match being off, <laughs> the finish of this is absolutely beautiful. It looks better than I remember. I feel like because my skin is in a better place than it was before. So I feel like I don't need to layer it up as much. Honestly, I feel like I could have gone with just this color and it would have already been a little deep for me. So next time I'll just use the shade 20, but here we are. I'm gonna make it work. I cannot remember for the life of me if I've tried this before, so I bought it. I feel like I might already have this. I don't know. This is the L'Oreal True Match Eye Cream and a Concealer. Just sounded nice. Luckily, this is a very light shade, so I feel like it might counteract what we've got going on here. So let me see. I'm just gonna get some of this on the back of the hand. Actually, this is actually a little deeper than what the bottle suggested or the outer packaging suggested, I should say. But let's see how this goes. This is like a really nice gel feeling formula. And then it kind of just melts into the skin. That's really pretty. To be honest, I don't know if I've tried this. And if I have, maybe I used it wrong or something. Cause like applying it with a fluffy brush and then tapping it in with my finger really looks nice. I'm gonna add a bit of coverage around the nose. I mean, this is marketed to be around the eye area, but I'm kind of using it all over the face. <laughs> okay, I'm just pressing that into the skin with my sponge. I honestly feel like everything looks really nice. Even though my foundation shade is a little bit deep. It's kind of throwing me off, but it's okay. All right, I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. This is not a new powder to me. This is one that I already really love. I'm gonna focus the glow powder on like the outer portions of the face to set that, but also make sure it still has a bit of luminosity to it. Next, I'm taking the ColourPop Pretty Fresh um, Pressed Face Powder. Mine is in the shade Fair 2. And I'm taking that same brush I'm putting this in the T-zone. This has more of a tint, like it has coverage, but it just makes the skin look airbrushed. So I'm just focusing that on like the center of the face. Gonna add a little more warmth to the skin with this LA Girl Matte Bronzer. I'm gonna mostly use the top color just to warm up the perimeters of the face. I'm just gonna fill my brows really fast with the NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Pen. 
Okay, I have a new eyeshadow palette that I wanted to try. The Clean Color from CoverGirl, this is part of their Clean Fresh line. I picked up the palette in the shade Cool Berry. I just felt like this would be a really nice, yeah, berry palette for what I have in mind. So I'm starting off with this shade right here. It's kind of mauve -y color. I'm gonna work this into the crease. I'm taking that same brush, same color, and going along the lower lash line. Next, I'm gonna take this deeper brown. Maybe it has a little berry in it, I don't know. Let's see what it looks like once blended. I just want a little bit on this outer edge of the eye. And then same with this outer third of the lower lash line. They had so many different colors to choose from. I chose this one initially because I felt like it would go with the berry tones that I wanted for today's look. But they had some like taupey colors that I feel like would be really beautiful. So if this formula works out, I probably will pick up more. I'm gonna try this color on the end. This looks really pretty. I'm just gonna press that onto the lids. I feel like this is pretty nice. I don't think it's like the best drugstore palette I've ever tried, but I mean, it's pretty like easy to use. These colors are really pretty. Yeah, like I think that's pretty. I like it. I feel like ColourPop has a little bit more. Um, This palette was like $10. So I feel like, you know, if you're wanting to go for an affordable palette, I would still stick with something like ColourPop, honestly. But if you don't have access to ColourPop, this seems really pretty actually. I did want to take some of the L'Oreal Infallible Blush. This is a new purchase. I just bought this. I thought in my mind that it could be pretty to kind of make this more of a focal point with the look. So I'm thinking of taking a little bit of this berry on the eyeshadow brush and just incorporating a little hint of this into the eye look. Oh wow, that's pretty bright. That's a pigmented blush. I thought it would be like a little more subtle, but it's really packing a punch. Let me blend this out a little more. Okay. I'm not sure if that made the look worse. Maybe that was a bad idea on my part, but I do want to try this berry blush. I'm just tapping off the excess quite a bit. And then I'm just gonna smile and apply this to the apples of the cheeks. Well, I guess I'm applying it more toward the edges of the cheeks. This is pigmented. Like I barely tapped my brush in there. And I mean, look at that berry color. I can't tell if I'm liking where this is going. I think I do. It's a little 80s with my blue coat, but that's okay. I realized I didn't even put mascara on. That's probably what's missing. I also bought this in the shade Confident Pink. Gosh, these are so pigmented. I'm gonna add a little bit of this to the apples of the cheeks. Oh my word, like these blushes are not for the faint of heart. Like I feel like I need to go back in with my ColourPop powder and mix a little bit of this onto the blush brush and just tone it down. And I love blush, so the fact that I'm wanting to tone it down really says something. Oh my gosh, I don't know. Oh, this may have taken a turn for the worse. I honestly think this level of pigmentation is great for medium to deep skin tones. I think it's gonna be incredible. For me, I feel like it's too much. Like I do feel like I'm having a hard time toning this down. Like I'm going back in with my foundation brush. Oh, this is not good. <sighs> I think those blushes were a little too much for me. I was actually really excited about them, but like, I think they were a little too pigmented. I can't tone this down. Well, we're gonna continue. I literally like keep putting on this pressed foundation powder and it still is showing up. <laughs> and now it just looks cloudy. Oh goodness gracious. I haven't had a makeup moment like this in years. Like, I think it'll be fine. Those were just a lot for me. Okay, let's finish the makeup, see where things are at. I'm gonna pop on mascara. This is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Sky High Mascara. So let's put this on the top and bottom lashes, see if that helps me feel a little better. Okay, I'm gonna wipe off any foundation on the lips. I wanted a classic brown lip liner from the drugstore. So I picked up this rich chocolate shade in the Maybelline Color Sensational. I'm excited to see how this works. This is not a brown, this is like a red. Why are we calling this rich chocolate when it's like a burgundy? What in the world? Well, it might work for this look, but we'll see. Yeah, it's way more berry versus brown. And that's just not what I was picturing for this look. So we're pivoting. I feel like as far as color selection goes for lip liners, NYX has a lot better options. The Walmart I was at was like sold out of all the colors I was interested in though. So I went with the Maybelline, but it wasn't brown. Okay. We're going classic, NYX Nude Beige. This is not a new product, but it sure is reliable. I love this color so much. I did choose to pick up a new shade in the Lifter Gloss. This is the shade Gummy Bear. It's like supposed to be more of a sheer vibe. I don't know, it looks really pretty. Ooh, oh, I love what that's doing to the lips. See, this is a happy little accident. 
Look at that. Oh, that is delicious. Oh my. See, something good did come out of this tutorial. That lip combo. Oh, that's really nice. Nude beige from NYX and the Lifter Gloss in Gummy Bear. Come on. That's delicious. That's divine. I do want a little highlighter and I grabbed my JCAT You Glow Girl baked highlighter. So I wanted to pop a little bit of this on the cheeks. It's been a while since I've used this highlight. Well, in my mind, this was gonna be more of like a vampy fall berry look. <laughs> it's turning out to be more sugar plum princess, but I'm not mad. I'm not mad at all, actually. I'm gonna take a bit of that and place it in the inner corner of the eye. That is beautiful. I need like a hydrating spray. I didn't grab one from my drugstore section, but I've got this Charlotte Tilbury hydrating mist, but I'm just gonna use this, even though it's not drugstore spray. I just need something to freshen up all those powder layers that I had to apply from the blush. I'm just gonna press that into the skin. Okay, and then I actually rebought my favorite mattifying powder, which you guys already know I love, the Rimmel Stay Matte. Just gonna take a little bit of that and press it into the T-zone to make sure everything stays put. Then I'm gonna take the NYX brow glue and use this to lock the brows in place. I feel like we have some wins and some fails here. I honestly will say the foundation, like the complexion overall is looking really nice. I'm happy to have the foundation back in my stash. I definitely don't think I needed to buy the deeper shade. Um, so that was a little bit of a mistake, but the finish overall looks so high-end, it looks beautiful. Also the concealer under the eyes looks really nice too, so I'm happy about those two products. These blushes are like too pigmented in my opinion, but you know, to each their own. For me and my skin tone, I feel like I need something a little bit more buildable and foolproof, this was just kind of crazy. Like the fact that I had to really tone it down the way that I did made me like not love it as much as I was hoping to, which you know, it happens. The eyeshadow palette honestly is really pretty. Again, I feel like for 10 bucks, you do get a really nice little quad. The e.l.f. ones are similar and are smaller and a lot cheaper, but you know, it just depends. I, I do kind of want to try some of the other color stories, but I think this is a nice like little go-to palette. It's really, it's a good quality palette. Again, if you want more colors for a couple more dollars, I would stick to something like ColourPop, but I'm not mad at how it looks on the eyes. What I feel like really shines though is this accidental lip combo, even though my brown lip liner was indeed a more red color. Um, this nude beige with gummy bear gloss, this is something that I'm thrilled about. It's not fall whatsoever. I was really, really trying to create some sort of berry look, but it is what it is and this is what we ended up with. Overall, I feel like what I'm happy to have is this Neutrogena foundation. I can't wait to see how this wears, but I am really happy to have it back. Again, if anyone has any suggestions as far as like a pump I could add to this that would help it not be so terrible to like use packaging wise, I would love that. Cause I do think the formula is so nice. I would just love to make it a little more user friendly for myself. And then this lip combo, those are the two things that I feel like, you know, would be worth checking out. Everything else looks pretty. The blush is a little much for me, which is rare for me. I love blush, you guys know, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I picked up at Walmart. I did also have a liquid lipstick picked out, you guys, from L'Oreal, and I thought that they were sealed and I got home and they were completely opened and like used several times. So I'm gonna return those. <laughs> I hate that about some drugstores is like, I get it. Like sometimes you wanna see the color, but then everyone starts opening every single package and then I end up coming home with a used product. I don't want a used product anyway. So I'll have to try the liquid lipsticks another time. That's besides the point. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you haven't joined the family yet, please do so by hitting the subscribe button. And yeah, that's it for me today. Hope you all have an amazing day wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Love you, bye.